Hey everyone, how are you all? It's been so long since I've been live to do makeup. Um, it's been like forever. Um, so, obviously going to do my makeup, which I haven't done for a while. And also, oh, January special is just amazing. Um, we've got new tanning products that are in the special and then our previous tanning products and a whole heap of our skincare products are on sale as well. Um, so you buy two products, it's 15% off. You buy three or more, it's 20% off, which is crazy, especially with new products that's just been launched because um, normally they won't put them on special for like three months, like 90 days after they've launched. So pretty exciting. All right, um, I'm actually going to put on a bit of moisturizer first. This stuff is just amazing. So with our moisturizers, um, our cleanser, one of the other... Moisturizers, cleanser, and the toner, I think it is. And they're all personalized to your skin. Hey, Dad. To what your skin is lacking. Um, so, like, brightening, calming, um, anti-aging, blemish. I think it's blemishing. What have I got in here? Elasticity, cleansing, hydrating. Like, so many different options. Um, so, you get to choose three boosters to put in your moisturizer. So, it's actually personalized for your skin, which is pretty incredible. Um, I never stick my finger in my products so um one it puts bacteria in there from your hands even if they've been washed you know you still carry bacteria um and also it makes the products not work as well obviously if it gets bacteria and stuff so i just use the little spatula that this comes with to mix it all in and i just use it or you can use like the tip of a, a um teaspoon or, or whatever um, with our amazing eye cream, it actually um, has an applicator available that you can purchase too. Um, so that's pretty cool. But I, look, I had no idea about skincare and um, I've tried several brands. I'm highly allergic to them. Um, break out so bad in like hives or like a rash and burn. Um, Unique is just so beautiful and gentle. I've been using it for two and a half years. Well, we, no, it's the skincare, been nearly three years that I've used this, the makeup and skincare. Oh, well, I've used the makeup, some of it, a bit before that. Um, but my skin is honestly the best it's been since I was a teenager, and I'm 44, so it's pretty amazing. Um, I mean, I have wrinkles, obviously, don't we all, but not that many, with a frown. <laughs> not too bad. I'm pretty lucky. My mum's got good skin. My dad's got good skin. Like, <clears throat> so yeah, maybe when it's lucky. But no, I was getting breakouts like often, a lot, especially around like that time of the month. Um, really bad breakouts. But since using the skincare, I don't get the breakouts. If I go a week or something without using it, um, occasionally I might get a breakout. But it's pretty good. I'm really, yeah, I'm really loving these products. All right, so. You don't have to put on a primer if you've put on moisturizer, um, but I am going to add a little bit of the hydrating primer just because it feels good and it's, oops, too much, and it's um, good for your skin, so why not? Just a small amount, and you don't need a real lot of these either. The hydrating and the mattifying um, are like a thinner consistency, so you don't need as much, whereas the, um, just the basic primer is like a it's sort of like a jelly consistency it feels really really nice on your skin but you use a little bit more of that than what you do these other two all right so in with that so you're supposed to let it sit for a minute or two but i never do i don't ever do anything i'm supposed to well, what i've been told i've got to do i rebel <laughs> i don't like authority um so tonight i'm going to use spray foundation it's my favorite Oh, you're peeling it off. Yeah. Mia's just stole my brightening mask to put on her hand. So she be in bed. It's 10 o'clock. But no, she had a three-hour sleep this afternoon because they've got COVID. So um, they're not tired, apparently. Mum is, but they're not. Okay. All right. Um, these brushes are filthy. I'll go in with a different brush. And because I haven't cleaned them, I'm too lazy. <clears throat> um, we have got 
the most amazing brush cleaner. So it's, you just spray it on. Where is that hiding? Doo, doo, doo. There it is. So it's just a pump spray. Spray it on your brushes. Grab a towel or paper towel. Go around in circles and it gets all the crap out. Um, and they're instantly dry. You can go straight in with them and use them straight away. So really I should do that, but um, I don't have any paper towel on me. So we'll go with a different brush. We can get this zipper open. What's going on here? There we go. Um, all right, we'll use this brush. So I, oh, it's been forever since I've been live, and I'm like, you know what? I really need to start doing it again because, like, I really enjoy it, but I'm just embarrassed by my teeth. Um, but unfortunately, things in my life happened, and I've got to live with it the rest of my life. Teeth are horrible. They take so much to look after. They're a pain to get, pain to get rid of. <laughs> Let's just all go with false teeth. No, I did have beautiful teeth. What is that on my face? Fluff. What a fluff. Now with this, you can put more on the brush at a time if you like. Um, and they're just going like two or three times. But I just put on smaller amounts and go back in several times. Um, that way I'm not putting heaps in one spot and um, little in the other, but these, our Kabuki brush, like I said, that's filthy, these are fantastic, they give you the best blend, they just give you that nice even um, coverage, rather than, like I said, more here than there, but these brushes aren't too bad, um, but I love my unique brushes, they're just amazing, pardon, oh and soft, yes, so soft, they're gorgeous, And like some, I mean, obviously you're going to have residue in all your brushes, but they don't keep a lot of your product on there, if that makes sense. Like you're getting more on your face than in the brush, which you should. Um, makeup's not cheap. <laughs> so it works out well. But this spray, spray foundation is fantastic. Hey, Sharon, how you going? I haven't seen you for so long. Um, and most of our foundations have got skincare. Well, actually, they all have now, except for our BB cream. But it's practically a moisturiser anyway, so it is skincare. But our even our powder foundation, it doesn't have talc, and it actually has skincare. And, oh, my God, look, I used to think... I've got a hair there somewhere. I used to think powder foundation was absolute shit, and I would not use it. I absolutely hated it. I did try the previous unique one they had, and I still wasn't fussed with it, so I used it for, like, a highlight or contour. Well, then they brought out this other one, the complexion plus um powder and it's just fantastic like it's got like a blurring agent so it just gives you the most gorgeous gorgeous coverage um and it doesn't feel like powdery and dry on your face it's just oh. i've never raved about a powder foundation in my life and this stuff just a game changer um where is it where is my powder foundation Moo? bye mm. my um my 19 year old visited and she wanted to do Mia's makeup, so Mia's grabbed my makeup trunk, and I have things missing. And it's like just thrown all through it. So now I don't even know what they've done with my powder foundation. So I can't show you because it's not there. You do know where it is, do you? Oh, hang on, I've got a new one up here. I'll show you this one. Oh, come out. So this is the powder foundation. And I love it because you've got your little spongy thing there and it comes out. <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah, this is it. I absolutely love it. It's just brilliant. Um, and also with all my products, I have the 14 day love it guarantee. If you get it and you react to it or you get the wrong shade or it's just simply not what you like, get your money back. You can either get your money back, you can exchange it for something else, um, you can get a credit, like, yeah. So, it's basically try it for 14 days for nothing, really, if you get what I'm saying. Um, oh no, I better put that back in my cupboard. I need to find that, Moo. Mm -hmm. Your little rat bag. Children that love makeup. Alright, now going in with this stunning palette 9. Oh my god, I'm in love with this palette. 
the Beloved Palette 2 was my absolute favourite. I mean, I still love it. It's stunning. But this one, oh my god. And this shade here, I also use as a highlighter. And then this one here, I've also used as a contour. Oh, it's just fantastic. All right. Brush, brush, brush. If I've got any of these. My brushes are foul. What have we got in here? Not very well organised, am I? Okay, we'll try. What these brushes like? I haven't tried it, but we'll give it a crack. Hey, Debbie, how you going, lovely? All right, I don't know what colours I'm going to go. Um, oh, something not too out there because I'll just be washing it off. Smoky look. A smoky look. So she wants me to go this greyish sort of colour, and then of course I'm going to go with the shimmer one because it's just stunning. All right. That PowerPoint's turn on, hey? My um, light's a bit flat. I'm sweating. It's hot in here. Um, oh, and of course, we have setting products as well. Um, so when it's really, 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 really hot, and you know you're going to sweat, if you throw on a setting product, then it's going to last, which is brilliant. I don't really like this brush. I really don't like that brush. All right, I'm going in with a dirty brush. Dirty brush it is. Actually, where's my colour switch? Oh, and these colour switches. Yeah, yeah, I'll do, I'll do your makeup look for you, Dad. <laughs> Big makeover. Mum wants me to do hers, so I'll do yours while I'm there. We can give them a fairy look. Oh, Mia wants you to have a fairy look. <laughs> yeah. Fairy edgy. All right, these colour switches, I had never even heard of them till I earned one with Unique. And so it's this, I don't know, like a spongy... I don't know what you call it, in a tin, and I need to clean mine, but you just get your brush, like, so you, say you've used a really dark colour or whatever, you go in like this, and it gets all that excess eyeshadow off, and then you can go straight back in and use another shade, it's absolutely brilliant, you can get them on eBay and stuff, they're just amazing, no worries dad, it could be very interesting, do you want a dress too? <laughs> well, you a unicorn as well. Oh, Mia wants you to have a unicorn look too now. Half and half. Oh, so half fairy, half unicorn. Yep, yeah, that's all. He's going to shoot you, Mia. Alright. So about there. I and I'll use this lipstick. shade before. Lipstick. Um, not too bad, not too bad. And go in here a little bit more. And I'm really, oh, look, I'm not real game, so I always tone the shades down a bit too, like I don't go with anything too crazy and out there. Occasionally I have, just, you know, for a bit of fun. Like Christmas. And um, it actually looks pretty good on me. I'm just a sook. A sook when it comes to getting out of my comfort zone when it comes to makeup. All right, so that brush just blends it so much better. I feel I have more here. Like here than over here. Which I know you sort of meant to. So I got a little touch more over this side. Yeah, I probably put on too much. Do you know what lipstick? There's no in between with me. I either put on too much or not enough. Um, you know, we can't all be normal. Do you know what lipstick you're gonna use? <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm shocking. Um, I'm a silk. Do, do you know what lipstick you're gonna use? I'm just gonna use. The lip gloss tonight. I hardly use lip gloss, oh. but they feel so good. All right, now in with the gorgeous shimmery one. So I will clean my brush. I'm too lazy to get another one. Well, this is like the cleanest one I've got out of them all. <laughs> I haven't cleaned them for so long. Um, I know. I just, I never think to do it, and then I go to do my makeup, and I'm like, oh. I need to clean my brushes and then makeup's done and the next time I go to do my makeup I go, oh I still didn't clean my brushes so <coughs> Oh well not to worry. We can do them next year. Next well we are we are just in a new year now, but oh, yeah. Okay, next, so next year. the gorgeous shimmery one, it is just stunning. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. It's like my absolute favourite shade, I think, in basically all the palettes I have. And then I'll just grab this little pointy brush. Hi, Carrie. Grab the little 
Pardon? I was peeling off a piece of the mask. I can see a part of it on my floor, miss. <laughs> <clears throat> and I picked up a scab and I was peeling it off. Oh, lovely. And I'm just going to dub it in the corner here. Like so. Oh, my goodness. I'm sweating so bad. I'm just dab it into the makeup. Yeah, it is hot. It is hot. This house is hot. They did put, um, like, he's a really lovely owner. And um, he put a new roof on last year. And he actually put bats in the roof, so it's not going to be as hot as it was. But because I've now got everything shut up, um, actually, move go on, yeah. open that front door. Awesome. It's just really, really muggy in here. So I'm missing. Oh, I'm missing. Co How do I miss all those comments? Oh no, no, I've seen them. It's just jumping up and down as they do. Um, oh, stop sweating for goodness sakes. It can be my, my, um, what do you call it? Setting spray. <laughs> my new setting product is my sweat. Yay. I hate sweating. I really hate sweating. All right, so, me wanted me to do a bit of a smoky look, so I will. I'll go down on the bottom a little bit here. Not too drastic. If you didn't this, say too, this grey is quite dark. Hey Joe, how you going? If you didn't this say gray's... too dramatic, oh. I would have chosen rainbow. Rainbow. We'll do a rainbow look next time. How's that? Well, Mia wants to do. What's the look you want to do on me? Vampire. vampire. She's been annoying me for a couple of days, and then she got pretty crook with COVID a couple of days ago, and so she sort of stopped nagging me. No, um, I'm gonna keep nagging. Yeah, she's, yeah, now she's feeling a bit better. She's gonna nag me. She wants me to let her do a vampire look on me, so. We'll go with that. She's getting, like, she's only nine and she's so, so good at makeup. I did Harley Quinn and then I changed it to Yeah, her. she's done so good with the makeup. Like, she's even, well, she hasn't done it for quite some time now. Mm. But she's even, um, done her own little lives and everything and they're so cute. Hey, yeah, let's see back up. Okay, so something like that. You can't see it as well on the camera as you can in, um, yeah, it should look pretty cool, as what you can in person. I've got such a mess on my desk. I've got skincare everywhere, because I'm going to show you what I have that's on special this month. Some of the products I don't have. One of my face masks is just vanished. I don't know where the heck that's gone. All right, now I'll go in no, no, for a second, with a bit of the shimmery one as well. Kind of too much shimmer. No, you can never have too much shimmer. Oh, that was a clean peel. Oh, I'm going to the bottom as well. And I was going to use a highlighter, because we've got these all new, absolutely stunning highlighters. And I was going to use that, but I'm actually going to show you. Where will I do it? Um, I'll, I'll do it on my cupid's bow with this eyeshadow and show you how like, amazing it looks. Um, See that? That is, oh, it's just gorgeous. Like an eyeshadow that you can use as different things. And like I said, this one here, I've also used as a contour. But then we have our amazing new bronzer, and it's a matte bronzer um, that you can also use for your contour as well. Did I say how highlight there before? I probably did. <laughs> All right, what are we going in with now? A bit of eyeliner, black eyeliner, pencil eyeliner. We do have the dip and draw. Um, eyeliner as well. The liquid, I'm not real good with liquid eyeliner, so I stick to what I know best and I wimp it and I go the um, pencil. But they're like a gel pencil, so they glide on super easy. I'm too like, I um, I had only used like cheap, nasty eyeliners. And because they're really dry, they like pull on your lid. And so then it creates a crease. Um, so you've got this dotted line. So if you've got a good eyeliner pencil and it's like a gel, it just, um, and I'm half blind, so half the time I miss my eye. Um, it just glides on super, super easy and you don't get that crease and that dotted line where you've got to go back over in the meantime. All right, now on the waterline, you can go lash line. Um, it's just personal preference, or you can even go both. So your waterline and your lash line, depending on the, like the, um, intensity, I guess you'd call it, of your liner. 
but it's just so good this pencil and we've got like multiple different colors sorry we had multiple different color liners i think they got something up their sleeves normally with unique when they retire something they bring out something even better and we've not long um, brought out retractable lip liners so I'm half tipping they're going to bring out retractable liners and they're brilliant like I, I've used them before previously because um, the only brand of makeup I can use besides Unique and trust me I've tried I think everything well maybe not everything but most most brands and I'm highly allergic to it but the Natio brand from the pharmacy um I originally could use all their foundations, but now a lot of their foundations, they've actually put sunscreen in it and I can't use them. I get hives from sunscreen in foundation and all the other foundations, my face goes like red, raw, blotchy, and it burns. Um, and when I first started you know, like um, trying Unique, I thought, this is just gonna be a waste of money. I legit just bought it to help a friend out because she'd been, um, selling unique not long and I went yeah yeah I'll buy some and thinking I'd end up just giving it to my daughter at the time or either of my daughters older daughters at the time because I'm allergic and then when I got it I went, oh my god it doesn't burn I'm like this stuff's brilliant so then would it take me um 18 19 20 so it took me two years to decide you know what I'm gonna sell this stuff because I just love it and I know there's other people out there that are suffering and going through pain just to try and have makeup on such so as brand. Um, I don't know what's going on with this phone. All right, so we'll go in with the actual highlighter now. So I've used the eyeshadow on there. Now these are the new highlighters. They're a, a, like a creamy, that's not the highlighter, that's the bronzer. They're like a creamy um, highlighter. That one's a bit dirty because I've used a foundation brush in it. Um, where's my brush, my brush, my brush, here we go. Um, we've had a few different highlighters and I was absolutely in love with, I think Mia has it. I think you gave it to me. Yeah, I think I gave it to you. It was a stick highlighter and they're, they were brilliant. Oh, those? Yeah. I can get it. Okay. And I loved them. Um, and then they had like a powdery one as well. And then they brought this out and I went, oh, this is stunning. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. Like, it's so, so pretty. And I always go, like, really extreme with my um, highlighter because I think it's just stunning. And out in the sun, it's like, oh, my God, that is gorgeous. So, yes, got to have a bit of highlight in your life, a bit of shine, a bit of shimmer. I yeah. thought that I had four. Oh, wait, two are lipsticks. Foundation. Here I do. Oh, you've got what have you got there? <laughs> oh, a lip gloss, a concealer. <laughs> okay, so this is the stick uh, yeah. highlighter they had. Um, just amazing. Like favorite. they're so good. But they've retired them. I think there is still a couple available maybe. Um there was last time I checked, but yeah, they're um being deleted as such. Um down the Bridge of the Snother. Just love it. It's just so pretty. Put a little bit more down my schnoz. Do only have one way to do eyeliner? Pardon? Do only have one way to do eyeliner? Pardon? Do only one way to do eyeliner? Only one way to do eyeliner. And what's that? Oh. <laughs> she closes her eyes as she does it. It's, it's pretty funny, but it works. You know? it, it works and go with it. It works. It's shine yeah, up it there. Should have enough here on the old cheeks, cheekbones, and obviously that eyeshadow there, which is just gorgeous. Um, go with a little bit of contour. Contour brush, where are you hiding? There it is. And we've got these new tapered contour brush too. They actually call it a sculpting, yeah, sculpting brush, they call it. Okay, beyond here, like so. And I never go, like some makeup artists I've seen, they put it on really, really heavy. And then I'm like, no, I'd never be able to blend it out right. I'd look like an absolute tool. Um, so I just go lightly with the contour. And you don't need a lot of this on your brush either. Like a little goes a long way. Um, that's one thing I will say about our, like all our powder products, like eyeshadows, um, 
blusher, contour, like they're all really, really pigmented. Um, so you're only using like a minimum amount. Um, my, my blushes I've had for over two years, like two and a half years. And, um, so I've got three of them, but you can hardly even see that I've used them. Like they just go such a long way. It's crazy. This is my favorite one, sisterly. So we're going to go with it. The eyeshadow brush. I mean, blusher brush. All right, it's walked. Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> I thought they stole it, but here it is. So you blush. I'm not, look, I'm no makeup artist at all. Um, I've only learnt this by selling it. Um, watching the other ladies on my team, watching YouTube with like Bailey Sarian and, um, yes. and, oh goodness, I've just had a total mind blank. I just brought her brushes for goodness sake, or well, Jamie did for her birthday. Courtney, Courtney Hollands, she, Hollands, oh, sorry, she is just amazing. Um, her, her, yeah, website is, um, my goodness, I've had a total mind blank, can't even think of it now. But anyway, she is amazing and she does all like your Halloween looks and like she does all the um, special effects makeup and oh, amazing. Hey, Trace. Hey, Key. How you all going? Just, she is brilliant. Um, Center of Attention is her website and she's also on Facebook and Instagram and all the rest of it. She is brilliant. Hey, Holly. How you going? All right, so blush. I've probably went a little bit crazy with the blush. Yes, I'm yes. thinking I might tone that down a bit, actually. Foundation brush in here. I put some more over this. So, yeah, I'm not a makeup artist, but your highlighter, your blush goes between your highlighter. So, you have highlighter, blush, and then contour. Um, and you, you're supposed to also contour your head, which I haven't done. I haven't got much on the brush, but it'll do. Like I said, I'll just be washing this off anyway. Okay, now get... Actually, I'll just use this one to blend it back in. And then, like, the sides of your nose. Um, where else? Just, just, just can't even think where else I'm supposed to contour. But it just gives you that definition on your face. Hey, Carla, you've, you've clicked on Join Me, honey. <laughs> do you want to join me on the video? <laughs> I'd love to have you. How are you? How are you feeling? All right, so where are we up to now? Gonna go. Oh, I feel like I've got a hair there. All right, gonna go with the lip gloss. Um, I am back. I was real embarrassed about my teeth. Um, but anyway, such is life. Um, I have got four of the, see these are a new lip gloss as well, new formula, and they're absolutely brilliant. So I've got Lottery which is this one. Um, I'm not sure if it's in stock because it was a limited edition. I'm not sure if they brought it out as a um, core line or not. And then you've got um, Light, which is really, really nice, like a nude. And this is my favourite, and it's called Lighthearted. And, of course, it's purple. And then I have Legendary, which is pretty bright. Oh, Legendary. Yeah, that's it, honey. Hate is going to hate. I don't care what anybody thinks of me. <laughs> Well, when it comes, I am embarrassed by this, but you know what I mean? Like, if people are going to hate you, then whatever. No skin off my nose. Yeah, you would be trying to move house and everything and trying to pack and not being well. Crazy. All right, so let's go in with lottery. Um, it's like a shimmery, it's like a shimmery, reddy, orangey. Oh, it's a funny color. They bought it out at Christmas time. Was it Christmas time? I might have been before. No, I'm pretty sure it was Christmas time they bought it out. <coughs> it's been months since I've been live. To do my makeup, it's been like forever. Forever. Hey, Matt. I forgot how to go live. First got that shimmer. That's real pretty. Or you can also go like put on a lipstick and then throw this over top as well. Um, that's why I really need to get Lux. That's the, um, the clear one. 
Hey, your boys here, Carla. How are you, honey? Um, now all we got left really is the mascara. But hang on, before I do, let me show you these products that are on special this month. So I've written it all down. There's that many of them. We have a brand new, for those of you that missed it right at the beginning, a brand new um, whipped mousse tanner. So it's a tanning mousse. Um, you can also get the body scrub. So you, you can use it all over your body and it's like a light exfoliator. So then it's doing wherever you're going to put your tan. I mean, you can use it just to exfoliate your body just for the fun of it in the shower or whatever. But before you tan which I know bugger all about because I've never tanned except I've tried the tanning drops twice. Um, you're supposed to always exfoliate. Yeah, it's really pretty, Debbie. Oh, Black Friday sales was, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, you're supposed to exfoliate your body before you put on your, your tanner, whether it be mousse, liquid, or however they come. We've got the drops and now we've got the mousse spray tan anything um you're supposed to exfoliate to get all the dead cells off and then it gives you a streak free smooth application of your tanning um so yeah they've brought out this absolutely amazing i mean i haven't tried it but the girls are loving it whipped tanning mix it looks cool um i'll actually throw up some more results over the next couple of days and then so the body scrub as well and then the tanning mitt so they're three new products then we have the tanning drops these are brilliant um, like I said, I'd never used a tanner. If I just went out in the sun, I'd be dark because I'm, I've got dark skin. Well, I used to have, till I stay inside all day. So you've got your tanning drops and you can put, I think it's three to, three to 16 or three to 12 drops you put in, um, depending on how dark you want to go. Um, I'm pretty sure both times I've done it, I've used four to six drops. And what you do is now you can use any moisturiser, any any body cream, um, but we have this, it smells so good, we have the new body cream as well. So you just grab out some of this, I actually first of all did it in my hand, that was a pain, so I'll grab a little container, throw some of the, the cream in it, then add your drops of this, mix it up and then apply it to your legs, arms, face, wherever you want to do it. Um, I put it on my legs and I was like, oh, is this going to work? Like, I'm real sceptical. And I'm like, oh, my God, it worked. Like, it's it's brilliant. Um, really, really cool. And then they reckon, from what the girls have said, they reckon the mousse is even better. Like, insane. Um, so, yeah, they're definitely worth a try if you want to have a nice tan for the summer. And if you like some people where if you go out in the sun you're going to get fried um and look like a lobster so this way you're not getting cancer from the sun and it's a lot better for your skin so we have those then we have doo -doo -doo, oh, the lip mask this is unreal so you can put it on in like you can put a heap on and then let it sit for five minutes and wipe it off or you can put a smaller amount on. It's like a jelly. It's really, really cool. And there's also a limited edition red one as well. And I think it's got like a thinner consistency. I don't have it. It's like a jelly. It smells really cool. Um, and then so you just put on a, a thinner amount. And it, like you can leave it on overnight. Like when I do my skincare. Yeah, you so should try it. You really should. And well, like I said, you can go either the drops or the girls are absolutely raving about the mousse. So whichever one you want to go and the fact that they're all right now 15 to 20 percent off perfect um but yeah i put when i do my skincare at night i either put this or the the lip plumper on at night and sleep with it on so brilliant then you've got i'll go by the list otherwise i'll forget something do, 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 the eye cream now the eye cream is my absolute favorite product in the world um i was black i'm chronic asthmatic and i was absolutely black under here all the time um and i really didn't think anything would help that like i've had it my whole life mia has it so i've just started using the the eye cream on her as well but it got rid of my dark circles it gets rid of fine lines wrinkles dark circles just brilliant now it's only a small jar don't be fooled this lasts four to six months you only need a small amount and because i was dark top and bottom 
I put a little bit on the top and the bottom, but you, um, a lot of people just go under the bottom. That's where they have their main issues with the darkness. And then if you want to buy the little applicator tool as well, which is brilliant. And if you keep this in the fridge when it's really, really hot and you put this on and you use this, it's like really refreshing as well. So that's the eye cream, which like I said, is my absolute favorite product. Then we have the, um, the beauty oil. This is another amazing product. I it's good for scars as well, um, stretch marks, fine lines, wrinkles. I use this on my son's massive scar on his arm. Um, when he was four, he put his arm through a plate glass window and he severed all his nerves and a tendon, and he's got a massive, massive scar. And I've been using this on him, and the scar has lightened so much, it's ridiculous. And I swear by this stuff. And you know when you're like being out in the sun and your face is really, really dehydrated and you feel crappy, you go in with a bit of rose water and then you go in with this and it just restores all that moisture. If you want to go limited products, go these two. Um, but this stuff I swear by. Then we've got... Okay, the brightening and anti-aging serums. These stuff are fantastic. These have been out for probably about 18 months. So this one's like a orangey sort of colour, I suppose you could say, like a honey colour. And then that's the um, anti-aging, and this is the brightening, and it's white. Um, I use about a half a dropper each time, or less, like between a quarter to a half a dropper, depending on how dehydrated my skin is. Um, and so, once again, it lasts you ages. Which one are you up to, Mama? Uh, the brightening and, and anti-aging serum is done. She's, she's going through it for me now. What's next, baby? Um, liquid makeup remover. Oh, the liquid makeup remover. I don't have any of that. I, I've never tried it um, because we have the wipes, which I've run out of, and I love them. They've got cucumber and everything in them. They feel amazing. They smell amazing, but I am out of them, and I need to get some more. Good night, honey. I hope you're feeling a bit better tomorrow and try and rest up. You need your rest. Um, but we have this cleansing balm and it's brilliant. So it like literally melts your makeup away. Now, I will be honest, it smells a bit like Vicks. I'm not overly keen on the smell. I mean, I don't mind the smell of Vicks, but because I'm actually allergic to Vicks and um, DP, Dank Rub, all that stuff, I was worried I would be allergic, so I patch tested my skin with it, and I went, oh, I'm not allergic to it, which I was really surprised, but it doesn't have the methyl in it, so that's why. Okay. Um, so you put it on your makeup, mm. and then you grab a damp, warm face cloth, and then you just wipe it off, and it brings everything off. It's absolutely brilliant. Or you can just use it as a cleanser to do that. You don't actually have to use it to remove your makeup. You can use it just simply as a cleanser. What else, babe? Cleansing wipes. Cleansing wipes I just did. Cleansing balm I did. What else, honey? Rose water. The rose water. This stuff, like I said, if it's been really, really hot. Even if you're really hot through the day and you're not doing a skincare or anything, just come in and spray some and it's just real refreshing. Amazing for insect bites. Amazing for sunburn. Um, eczema. This stuff is brilliant. I always keep this on hand. I mean, one, because I use it, but if the kids get a little bit red, which I try to avoid, I don't like my children getting sunburned. Okay. Um, but sometimes if you don't really realise and you're outside for an hour or so and you go, oh, you're actually getting a little bit red, spray this on. A um, couple of me, as family members last year, let her get burnt to a crisp. You've probably seen on my Facebook and she had third degree burns to her face. And I use this on it. I mean, I had to go and get creams and other stuff as well. But before I got that, I was using this and it takes the redness and the sting out of it. It's just fantastic. <laughs> Give me a look, darling. Yeah, I wrote it really messily. Uh, brightening. So we've got, these are all the masks, face masks. Brightening, exfoliating, hydrating, perfecting. Um, so I have, I can't find my hydrating. The kids have, I think, you're welcome, beautiful. Let me know if you need, well, actually don't let me know if you need me because the kids have got COVID. I can't even help you. <laughs> okay, so the brightening mask is our only peel off mask we have. It's gold. It's so good. Cool. It's my favourite. It's me a favourite. Like, I love it. It's awesome. And because what I do when I pull it off, I make sure I pull it off in one piece and it looks really, really creepy and it's cool. <laughs> so the brightening one, um, the exfoliating one, this stuff's fantastic. Um, and it's a gentle exfoliating, so it's not like going to sting or 
rip your skin apart, like it's a gentle exfoliating, but it does a really good job. Then we have the um, the perfecting. Now, I haven't used this. It's black. I have not used this one yet. I haven't not long got it. So I need to try that one. Um, so all those, and what was the last thing? Eye cream something. Uh, oh, the eye cream applicator tool. So that was a little silver tool I showed you that you use with the eye cream. So fantastic. Um, all right, let's do a little bit of mascara. Probably shouldn't even bother because like I said, it's going to wash it off. This is just a basic Epic. So the Epic and the Epic Twisted. The Twisted has two wands. It's brilliant. It has a little wand to get into the corners. It's just fantastic. Um, they both have biotin, keratin, and argan oil. So they nourish your lashes and they also help with lash growth. But we do also have a lash serum, which is fantastic. Um, I put it on each night before bed. And it actually, hey Cal, it actually helps your lashes grow and your eyebrows as well. Um, and it's also nourishing and that as well, same as like these. Um, but we also have the 4D mascara, which is our fiber lash mascara. And it's like the bomb, the, the mascara of all mascaras. It has fibers which attach to your lashes. So it gives you that even more extreme um, length and volume, which is just crazy. So I'm just going to go real light. Will coat. this help my breakout? What, darling? That's a lip mask. Oh. No, baby. It'll probably sting it. <laughs> And me and mascara have a love-hate relationship. Um, nine times out of ten, when I put it on, I wear it all over my face. <laughs> or my nose. My nose. I've got a big nose. So my nose cops it too. So just, yeah, just going real light. And so these are all buildable as well. You can put on multiple coats um, depending on the, the length of volume you're looking for. And what some, well, a lot of people do is they use this or the Twisted and then they go in with the um, the 4D on top of it and it's like, oh my God, look at those lashes to die for. We also do now have magnetic lashes as well. Um, I'd never tried fake lashes in my entire life until... I don't know, probably about 18 months ago. When they first came out, I'm like, no, I'm not going to get them. And then I'm like, oh, what the heck? I'm just going to get them so I can tell people what I really think of them because um, I'm a, um, pretty straightforward. And I thought they'd be rubbish and they're amazing and they look absolutely stunning. They're not extreme. They're not ridiculous. Where are my lashes in here? I think They're not ridiculous, crazy length lashes. Um, there's two different styles. And I thought I'd be hopeless at applying them. And they're actually really easy. So this one's the um, the cat eye look, which I can't even remember what it's called. Um, inspiring. So it's like your cat eye look. So it's shorter in the corners, longer on the outside. You can also add your mascara to them, which those ones I have. And then you've got anchors, which a couple of mine have fallen out. You get 10 little anchors as well, so you can build them up on the outside or wherever you want to build it up or right along. Um, and these ones are encouraging. I haven't used these yet. So they're like the all over same length. But they're really, really nice. I didn't think I'd like them, but I was wrong. And then you have the the liner, magnetic liner. Um, and you can also buy the applicator tool. But I found it more difficult to put them on with the applicator tool. I ended up just using my fingers. So each of their own. But all right, so that is my look for tonight, and you'll probably be seeing a lot more of me now I'm back on here. Um, but yeah, if you'd like any information on any of the products, just send me a message or comment on here, um, and I can give you prices. If you want to know more about a certain product, just let me know, and um, yeah, I'll help you out. All right, hope you enjoy the rest of your night, and enjoy the rest of your school holidays, because they're nearly over. Bye.